Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to look at how to use the patchwork package to be able to rearrange multiple graphs within a graphing window. So with our ggplot, we know that we can use facets to arrange graphs. This is a little bit more flexible. Whilst the examples that I am going to be providing are ggplots, we can use this with other plots as well. So we can see here that I have four plots. So scatter plot, a box plot, a smoothed plot, and a bar plot. And we're going to work through some of the different ways we can use patchwork to arrange these. So if we start off with something that's not from patchwork, if we just take two of these graphs with a plus, we can produce them side by side. With patchwork, instead of the plus, uh, we can use the vertical bar and produces exactly the same thing. Where patchwork becomes more useful is we can also use the slash to stack vertically. So if we wanted to stack three graphs, one on top of the other, there we go, we've stacked one, two, three. We can also use brackets to combine these. So I can set up side by side over another side by side. So there we go, one, two, three, four, nicely arranged as a two by two grid. But sometimes we might have graphs that are more suitable to be longer or taller, and we can arrange in different ways. So here, in taking our four graphs, and now we've set it up three across the top, one stretched across the bottom. By default, it is going to try and divide up the space uh, equally with however many items, but we can take some control of this as well. So one thing we could do is we can use plot underscore spacer, and we can add spaces. So here is just an example. It's a little bit mucky. Uh, so we've added spaces. You can see here I've gone back also to the pluses as well. So this is more of a standard GG plot, but I thought I would throw that in there uh, because I think it is also pretty handy. Uh, we can control the width of the columns, we control the number of columns as well. So here with uh, ncol, we've got our four plots, but what we can do is we can force it into three columns. So each plot will be presented one, two, three, we've got our three columns, and then it'll come down to a new line. It could be that we want to alter the, the relative widths of these. We can do that with widths. We can also do it with heights as well, but we'll just look at widths. So here you can see that the two on the left, we have made twice as wide as the two on the right probably a little bit more unusual but something we could do is uh, set one plot within another. So here we're using inset element, we've got our scatter plot but then embedded over in the corner here we have a box plot of some of our variables. Okay, back with our slashes and vertical bars here. We can also use plot underscore annotation if we want to add a title on here. So here we've added uh, the title for the set of graphs. Uh, you can do a title, you can do a subtitle under it. You can also add a caption down the bottom as well. Uh, and I just did a quick little edit there. Uh, since I hadn't defined what patchwork was, so we've thrown in our graphs. Uh, we can add annotation to each graph as well. Uh, so here we've just set it A, B, C. Uh, we can get a little bit fancier with this with figuring kind of numbers and letters if we want, maybe wanted 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3, something like that. Uh, the last one we're going to look at uh, uses one more additional package, Grid Extra. And so this is just showing where we've taken a graph, uh, but we're also going to patchwork in a table as well. So we run that one, 
and there we've got our graph and then uh, we've got our table presented in the same image as well. So hopefully some of these were helpful, certainly some of these earlier ones, just being able to range the two by twos, three by ones, having a little bit more flexibility than what we might have had with uh, using PAR and uh, Infro or by using other other base R or uh, more older packages. Uh, if this was helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll also have a link to my website where I will put this code so you'll just be able to copy and paste if you want to replicate it yourself.